Yo, what's up, people? I'm the Black Master Doji, and I just took a poop. It was lit. I, I was a little constipated, though. Like, it, my butt kind of clenched up as I was pooping, and then shit, did, it just didn't go right. I, I think I should go see a doctor. Play my intro, son. <laughs> What's going on, Dochi fam? It's your boy, the Black Mask Dochi, here with another episode of Ask Dochi, the series where you guys ask me questions and I answer them, if that wasn't already obvious enough. So the Black Sasuke asked me, do you have any advice for starting a blogging channel? Yo, I feel like I get asked this question like every day, whether it's on a stream, whether it's on my Instagram, just people coming into my DMs going like, yo bro, I'm a new YouTuber, man. I'm just trying to make it out here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do what you do. So can you like give me any advice? Give me tips, give me something so I can get like 50,000 subscribers in one day. People, there is no shortcut or trick to doing this. There is no secret tip that I'm gonna give you that's gonna randomly allow you to just get a shit ton of followers out of nowhere. There are a bunch of proven practices that you can use to actually get a decent amount of viewers, but there is no one tip that's gonna get you at 200,000 subscribers and 1 million viewers on your channel in like a day. It's like impossible. It takes work and everybody that you see just randomly jump from like 10 subscribers to 2,000 subscribers in like a week, that's either Super luck, or they just worked really hard to get there. All right, so anyways, for the tips. Tip number one, and I feel like a lot of people forget this tip. Try to be entertaining. Look, vlogging channels can be very fucking boring. Very fucking boring. Most vlogging channels are just videos of some dude walking on the camera and talking about his life. Yo, what's up, people? I'm the Black Master Dochi, and I just took a poop. It was lit. I, I was a little constipated, though, like it. My butt kind of clenched up as I was pooping and then shit, did it, it just didn't go right. I, I think I should go see a doctor. That's not fun to watch, bro. I don't care about your shits. If you're gonna do a vlogging channel, you should pick topics that are entertaining to your fans, but also matter to you. If you want to rant about some shit, then rant about it. If you want to give a motivational speech, then go ahead. Just make sure you're somewhat entertaining when you do it. Don't just walk up to the camera like, yeah, so uh, I, I really don't like when people um, take out your laundry out of the um out of the laundry mat because it pisses me off and um i'm just trying to do my laundry and people keep on taking out my laundry and it gets it gets me tight because i just need to do my laundry and they don't want me to do my fucking laundry like that's that's bullshit your youtube channel is a persona whether that persona is to be a complete asshole or to be as extravagant as fuck you have to play into that persona you think i'm like this all the time i'm not Usually I'm just chill, doing my own thing. I don't got time to yell at people all the time about the shit that I care about. It just, no, I don't, I don't do this shit normally. This is not who I am outside of YouTube. But when I'm on YouTube, I have to be this person so I can entertain you people. However, do not let your YouTube channel turn you into someone that you're not. This persona that I'm playing off as the Black Macedonchi is literally just me at like 100% hype level. That's the only difference. Like, I'm just not yelling at people. When I get hype, I am like this. But, you know, don't, if you're, if you are not an asshole, don't turn into an asshole for your YouTube channel, okay? All right, tip number two. You gotta upload videos, B. You have no idea how many people slide into my DMs and are like, hey, don't you, can you like give me a shout out or something? Because I'm trying really hard as a YouTuber, but nobody watches my shit. And then I go on their channel and I see one video. I check when they made the channel. They made the channel in fucking 2003, bro. It's pretty obvious to say, but to get people to watch you on YouTube, you have to actually make videos for YouTube. That's like expecting to lose weight, but then sitting on your ass doing absolutely nothing and then getting mad when you don't lose weight. You have to put the work in, people. You have to not only upload videos, but upload on a consistent schedule. Don't be like me and upload sometimes on a Friday, sometimes on a Thursday, sometimes on a Saturday. Find a day that you are sure you can drop a video and consistently upload videos on that day. Now, why does this work? Because now if you upload in a consistent schedule, then people are gonna know when you upload, so they're gonna go onto your channel and then watch the shit 
when it comes out. And that's super helpful because nowadays YouTube does not tell anybody when you upload shit. So if you find a specific day that you know you can upload and you consistently upload on that day, then people who like you are going to watch your shit on that day and then not care about notifications because they're gonna know that this person uploads videos every Thursday at six o'clock PM. Tip number three, and this is literally jumping off the last tip I just gave you. Be fucking consistent, people. And this has less to do about scheduling. This is more to do about you actually uploading videos. There are some YouTubers out there, right? That upload videos consistently for like a month. And then for two months, they're just gone. And then when they come back, they get all mad because their views are lower than they've ever been. My nigga, if a show went on hiatus for like two months without any warning, do you really think it's gonna come back with the same viewership? No, you gain viewers by consistently uploading videos. You don't gain viewers by dropping a shit ton of videos one month and then just leaving your YouTube for dead for two months straight. So if you're gonna do this shit, you have to be super consistent with it, like I said in the last tip. And look, I understand, shit's gonna pop up, all right? Shit's gonna happen that you can't control and it may stop you from making a video. That's fine. Just let your subscribers know you have social media for a reason. Hell, YouTube has a whole community tab for that shit. Just go into the community tab and say, hey guys, I can't upload a video because my cat died. You know, do not just leave your channel without letting somebody know. Because if you do, you're basically begging for your channel to die. Tip number four. Collab with people. I feel like people shit on collaborations so much. Like, I don't know if it's because people just don't like them. I don't know if people are too lazy to do them, but collaborations are like cheat codes, bruh. This is how collaborations work, people. You make a video with another YouTuber and then that YouTuber shares that video on his channel or his social media or his whatever. That means that you are being thrown in front of his subscribers. That is literally the most surefire way to get more viewers on your channel. Because what's gonna happen is that this person's subscribers are gonna see you and they're gonna be like, you know what? I like this dude. I'm gonna I'm I'm find him. I'm gonna watch his videos and then watch my boy's videos too. I, I, I like this little thing y'all got going on right now. And then boom, subscribers. But people don't wanna do collaborations cause they're like, oh, I'm not good enough or oh, I'm better off on my own or oh, nobody makes content like me. Look, here's homework for everybody watching this video. If you are a YouTuber, go on YouTube or Instagram or whatever, find YouTubers and then send them an email or a message asking to collaborate with them. Obviously find YouTubers within your niche, find YouTubers that do the same thing that you do and then work with them. They might say no, you might get rejected. Hell, I've been trying to work with Afro Senju for the longest now and I've been rejected so many fucking times but I'ma still try and we are gonna work together someday, maybe, I don't know. Afro Senju, if you're watching this video, please work with me. You're like, you're, you're like, you're like my bro even though you don't know me. Work with me, please. You have to keep on trying, keep sending emails, keep sending messages, and then sooner or later, someone's gonna look at your stuff and be like, you know what, I like you. Yeah, we can work together. I'll give you an example of how this did amazing shit for me. When I was at around 18,000 subscribers, I ran across a page called Gameology. Now, Gameology was a huge Facebook page. They had around two million followers, and all their followers were gamers. So. I slid into their emails and I was like, hey, I'm the Black Mastodonchi, y'all wanna work together? Now granted, I did not think anything was gonna come from this because this was a two million follower Facebook page. Like why would they ever decide to contact me back? But they did contact me back. I sent them my Scorpion video and then that video ended up getting over two million views on their page. And because of that, I got a huge boost in my subscribers. I believe I went from like 18,000 subscribers to like 25,000 in like two weeks. Bottom line is I could have sat there thinking these guys are never gonna talk to me because they have over two million followers and I only have 18,000 subscribers. Why would they talk to me? But I took the chance and then something amazing came out of it. All right, and the last tip I'm gonna give you guys is this and I feel like a lot of people forget to mention this part and it's super important because it's probably the most important tip on this list folks remember your subscribers come first before you decide to make a video about what might get you more viewers or what might get you more subscribers think about what your subscribers want your subscribers are what got you here in the first place so you owe it to them to make content that they want to see don't make a whole bunch of content that your subscribers like and then randomly go like, I'm gonna do this type of video because this type of video does better on YouTube. No, 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 fuck that noise. 
trust your audience, believe in your audience, and then make what your audience wants. On an ethical standpoint, it's just the right thing to do. They're your audience, you owe it to them to make great content. However, on a technical standpoint, the more videos you make that your audience actually want to see, the higher chance they have of actually sharing your stuff. And as you all know, sharing videos is extremely helpful for your channel, it can do wonders. Think about it like this. All you need is that one share to get seen by that one special or famous person, and then if that person decides to share it, boom, you famous. It's honestly that simple, guys. But overall, like I said before, starting a vlogging channel is not complicated, but it does take a lot of work. There is no secret tip or secret sauce that's gonna get you to where you wanna be. It just takes a lot of hard work and determination. You're gonna have to do a lot of shit to get to where you wanna be. But yep, that is my answer to your question. I hope it was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. If you want to ask a question yourself, all you have to do is like this video and then leave your question in the comment section below with hashtag AshDonchi next to it. As usual in the comments, also telling me how you feel about this video. Shout out to MindWire, Kevin Jackson, and all my other dope patrons that make videos like these possible with their very kind donations. If you are not already a patron but would like to become one, feel free to go to my Patreon page down in the description below and find out how you can support the channel for as little as $1 a month. And if you are unable to support the donations, as I always say, liking, sharing, and commenting is always the next best thing. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys next time. As always, be easy, stay lit, and take care.